Bottle race we think of this one. Uh, box of chocolates with a massive hole in the middle. Not sure how that works. <laughs> question. Have a look, see if you can have a go at it and then come back when you're done. Minimize the cost of production. Minimize optimization. That's your key power word for higher maths there. Let's try part A in any case. So there is our box and all the information in it and I want the surface area. So I'm just going to start working on it and see if I can get the answer close to what we have got. So surface area, we've got 3x times h and I can see I've got one of them, two, three, four of them. So first of all, I can write down, I've got 4 times 3xh. I'll put a dot for times in so it's clear. And then I need to add on, well, I've now got my top and my bottom. So my top is going to be 3x times 3x, so that's 9x squared. Times that by 2, so plus 9x squared plus another 9x squared, just to be clear, but or 18x squared straight away. But then you've also got a hole in the top, which is x squared by x squared, and I've got two of them, so take away 2x squared straight away. And then the bit that everybody can't always forget, I almost forgot it, there's a surface inside this tube as well, so I need to work out what that surface is. Well, there's going to be four of them, and it's just going to be x times h, so plus 4xh. Tidying all that up a little bit, my area is 12xh plus 4xh, that's just my first and my last one. And then my x squared is 9, 18 minus 2 is 16x squared. Or my area is 16xh plus 16x squared. If you can get that far, you're getting a mark. But we're not finished there because our area in the question's not got any h in it. So we need to work out if we can eliminate that h somehow. Well, let's look at the information. Ah, the volume is 2000. Well, volume is length times breadth times height. So if I write that down and underneath, volume is length times breadth times height. The volume of the big box, which is 3x times 3x, which is 9x squared times h. So 9x squared h, but we need to remember to take away the whole, which is x by x by h, so that's just x squared h. So our volume, 8x squared h, but that equals 2,000, it says. So I can now eliminate h from my area by rearranging this equation to get make h the subject. So that means that h equals 2,000 divided by 8x squared, a mark for getting h. Now we just need to substitute it in the a. So our a is 16x times h, 2000 over 8x squared, and we've got still plus 16x squared. Using a calculator, 16 times 2000 divided by a is 4000, so we get 4000 on the top, and we've got cancellation to do x on the top, so x squared becomes x. So we get x on the bottom, plus 16x squared, or writing it in exactly the same way we wanted, 16x squared plus 4,000 over x, which is just exactly the same as what I've just already got. And there's your third and final mark. Part B said, to minimise the cost of production, the surface area A of the box should be as small as possible. Find the minimum value of A. Minimum value optimization. Let's jump straight in. So part B, I want to optimize the area. To differentiate a function, we need to get it ready. So let's start with our area. We've got 16x squared, but I'm going to have to take that 4,000 x to the minus 1. So I can differentiate it. And you'll actually get a mark straight away there for getting it ready. We now differentiate it, so a dash or a dash x, 2 sixteens is 32x minus 4,000 x to the minus 2. And that's me differentiated it for a mark as well. So two marks out of six so far. Now, if we fix that by making it equal to zero because we're optimizing, so remember stationary points occur when a dash x, I'll call it, equals 0. So we can say 32 
x minus 4,000, x to the minus 2 equals 0. So realizing we had to do that in five stationary points, we get another mark. And then we need to solve it. We'll get another mark in a moment for solving it, but I'll show you all the working you need for solving it. So we've got 32x equals 4,000 over x squared, we could say, x to the minus 2. So multiplying through by x squared, we get 32x cubed equals 4,000. Dividing through by 32, 125. So x is the cube root of 1, 2, 5. There's only one answer to that. It is 5. So we now know that x is 5 is our turning point. But we need to prove and show that that is a minimum. We don't know if it's a minimum or a maximum. So we need to do a table of signs. So let's do our table of signs just to show that. X going along 5 and we're going along. A dash X. So in a number less than 5 but not 0 because 0 it's undefined. Then if you picked 1 say you would get 32 minus 4000 over 1. That's a negative so we've got negative 0, hoping that after 5 is positive, but you can check. Just get yourself a calculator, pick a number close to 5, let's pick 6, say. 32 times 6 is 192. 4,000 divided by 36 is 11. That minus 11 is positive, so we can say it's positive. So our shape is down, along and up. Therefore, x equals 5 minimizes a so to get a remember a remember x equal to 5 we work out our area equals 16 times 5 squared plus 4000 over 5 1200 for your final mark a lot on table of signs here technically this is one of those ones where the function is discontinuous. In other words, at zero, because if you can't divide by zero, it, it breaks. You have to make sure that it, you have kind of shown that it's in the neighborhood of five. I always draw an arrow because they actually take it to mean a, a number close to five, a number close to five on either side. If you do that and don't actually say any numbers, you will be fine. This has been Claire Maths today. We've been looking at an SQA higher maths optimization question, which was from 2019. Paper 2, question 11. Quite a tricky one, this one. So hopefully you found this one useful. Take care. Stay safe. Goodbye.